zoomed you all in a bit just enough so you can see all the mistakes up close. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so glad to be back on a weekly basis. And yes, we're gonna not address the elephant in the room that is my hairstyle that makes me look like I glowed down whenever they had a glow up. I look like school me and that is okay. That's where the makeup comes in to give me that glow up. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Anyways, um, I just couldn't get myself to do like a hairstyle and I really am into headbands. So I thought I'd do this. But yeah, it's a very functional hairstyle because my hair is out of my face. But we're going to focus on the functionality and not the aesthetic of it. Please. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, as you can see from the title, I'm doing since the non-dominant hand challenge. Since my right hand is my dominant hand, I'm going to be doing my makeup with the left hand. So let's see if I still got the skill in the left hand. This is going to be tough, but I got this. Let me roll up my sleeves. Okay, let us get into the video. I zoomed y'all in a bit, like just enough so you can see all the mistakes up close. If there's um, anything unblend in this video, forgive me. Like, you can, I think y'all can forgive me. Anyways, I'm, I can, I'm using both my hands to open this, sorry. It's just what it is. So I'm using the left to apply it. I'm starting with foundation. I'm using the viewfinder just a minute. I'll apply more foundation as I go, if I need to. Okay, holding my mirror with my right hand is so weird. Oh my gosh. I think foundation would be like the easier part. Of course. I don't know whether I've gotten lighter because this foundation actually used to be light for me. But now it feels like an inch. Like it seems a bit darker. This feels so weird. I'm not even exaggerating that. I think you all probably know, like when we try to write with our non-dominant hand the first time, like we feel super weird. It's like the same feeling. What is this? What is that? What is that? Really just shoving it into any pore that's there on my face. So that looks splendid i think that's enough foundation i think i don't need more so i didn't use my ring light today because it's decently sunny i didn't feel the need to use my ring light so i didn't camera keeps going out of focus anyways let's move on to concealer now like i said i'm using my right to hold the compound otherwise i usually open it like this right so i'm switching it up so it's still kind of fair just a bit some on my chin a bit on my nose you know the pack um spotlight ready concealer in the shade 07 nutcracker i was again going to pick it up with my right hand pinch the beauty blender let's see how presentable i look by the end of this video anyways now i look like a like me in 2016 oh, so can I look my age that's 18 and not 14 or something? 14 or 13? I I don't know. I didn't take math. <laughs> I'm saying I didn't take math. Like that's a good enough excuse to not do like the bare minimum math. Like I don't require math when I pay something. Pay something when I buy something. I forgot English as well. So I love that. I just love never making sense eye bags sorry never heard of her anyways i blended that concealer now i'm setting my face with some powder yeah just stab it right into your eye just set your eyeballs <laughs> in place i'm doing this this feels so weird spreading whatever was left all over my face I don't like looking too powdery. Don't want to end up looking like a 
donut, you know. Not that that's a problem. I mean, if that's your thing, looking like a dessert, by all means, go ahead. But it's not really my calling. Now here's where I'm scared. I'm doing eyebrows now. I'm using, I'll use this only. And yeah, I'm using this little brow thingy, using a powder in it. Okay, it's voiceover Kiona because this area was very empty and planned. But I was very focused during this part and it was very tricky and my hands were shaking. But I gave it my best. And you know what? That's all that matters. I'm gonna use a brow gel to brush it out now. You know what? That's not even the worst eyebrow I've done. You know, I've seen worse. Literally like the other day I did my brows way worse than this. What is this technique for applying brow gel? I don't even know at this point. Yeah, so now the kind of tough part is done. My hand was cramping, do y'all know that? No, y'all don't. How would y'all know that? Unless I told you. Now I'm doing eyes. I'm using the Jackie Aina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using ginger edges. Then I'll use this Zam for a pop of color. Okay, come on, Miss Blending. Come on. Loving the protractor technique. Just, did I just come up with a blending technique right now? I did. Now I'm taking edges. On the edge, a pun intended. Literally, you're not funny, shut up. No, I am. I don't believe in self deprecating humor anymore. I'm using one brush to try and get this look done as fast as I can because my hand is cramping and my pale tolerance is not very high so yeah I'm using the dark shade in the palette to pant palette which is credit and focusing that on the outer corner to keep that smoke smoky that's decent I'll take like a like an angle brush and using uh, edges on the lower lash line. The best part of this makeup look is I don't have to show my face anywhere after. I'll use a Zam now, which is the shiniest shade in the palette. I'll show y'all, but it look like I'm like that. I'm not gonna do that because then I'll be flipping y'all off. And I love y'all way too much for that. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling spicy. So, I'm gonna take a tapered brush. I'm gonna take Big Big, which is the purple shade. And using that on my waterline. Big Big, big. Na 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 na. I'm taking the first shade in the palette and highlighting my inner tear duct now comes eyeliner i know this is what y'all have been waiting for doing a simple line okay not doing any inner tear duct because i know that if i stab myself then that would be dangerous so do at your own risk you know Two thousand years later. Okay, I did it. I did like a simple line across my eyes. I love that. Just apply some mascara. Gotcha. <laughs> now it's time for bronzer. Same bronzer I always use. Y'all know it at this point. The way I'm holding these brushes is literally triggering my fight or flight response. Now it's time for blush. And I'm using the Salmon Superstar by Sugar. That's a lot of blush and that is okay. Now I applied blush. Now it's time for highlighter. Using the Kiko highlighter in the shade. What shade is it? It's like the limited edition holiday one. It's a 
a yellowy gold highlighter. Now it's time for lipstick. I'm using Madras Kapi by Nika. It's the way I applied my lipstick better than most people do with their dominant hand and mirror. While that dries, I'm just going to set my face. Last but not the least, lip gloss. And yeah, that's the finished makeup look. I'm going to show you all the flash so we can get a better view. Flash. Let me look in my phone camera. Honestly, not bad. I think the base is looking really good. I think the eyes are really basic and the eyebrows are honestly pretty symmetrical. I'm really proud of how this look turned out. So yeah, I hope you'd like this video and it was entertaining to see me struggle and now my hand is cramped, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram. See you in my next one. Bye. Peace.